Miles Morales is Spider-Man. It's one of those. I'm minding my own business and these YouTube shorts came on. It's Donald Glover talking about the Spider-Man stuff. I'll break down my take. And maybe, you know, Spider-Man maybe doesn't have to be. I don't think you can hear that. Let me I'll make it louder. Be white. Maybe you can be black or Hispanic or something like that. And then somebody put a big picture of me in the comments. It was like, Donald Glover can play Spider-Man. He's nerdy. <laughs> And I was like, okay, and somebody sent that to me, so I was like, oh yeah, I'll put that up. So I put it up on my Twitter, and I was like, oh, Donald for Spider-Man, let's do this. So here's the thing. He's uh, characterizing himself as giving a very kind of like, you know, maybe Spider-Man, he could be Hispanic or black, and he's just kind of throwing that out there. And in that is the flaw. So he's a lot younger here. This is before the year 2018, and this is what happened in that year. A character from Wakanda had his own movie where he was the lead. And that character now became known to the people. A brand where the character has, has been, is in the lead and his skin happens to be dark is the lead, is the character, is the franchise. Everyone knows who that is. And that is now on the map. Characters in the superhero, fan, in the, in the superhero comic book stuff, we get over and over again. Superman and Batman will never stop appearing. Or Spider-Man. If what you got was, hey, why can't Spider-Man just be uh, Hispanic or he can be black? Yeah, you could get that in that one movie. You could be cast. There it is. Success. What you wouldn't get, though, is it all over the place. The video games would still have the white Spider-Man. The, 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 the tr comic books aren't going to change. Ev everything all over doesn't have, like. There's no benefit to it long term. With your casting. Actually, there's a negative to it. Because now the studio who makes the movie goes, Ah, oh, yeah, we're doing enough black movies now. So now it comes at the cost of another movie that maybe needs to be pushed down. And we'll, we'll get to that later. The temporariness of what he's asking for is the danger. And he's just throwing it out there. Yeah, what about Spider-Man? Now, if this was like a Shakespeare play at your local school, right? You're in school, high school. You're in high school for four years. They're going to always do the Shakespeare play. It's part of the curriculum. It's not like rotating f plays the same way that the cinema has rotating films over and over again. 99% of the movies we see in the movies are brand new. Um, I, don't know, I don't have to even explain that. Are brand new. Plays, you know, it's the same famous plays over and over again. So I can see why you would say, man, we can't restrict casting based on people's appearances. It should be on the talents. Yeah, I can hear that, that discussion now and I would agree with you. But when it comes to this, no, nah, nah, I can't. I can't get with it. I can't get with it because what it's costing. We have the solution now. We saw it happen in 2018. We've seen it happen with Blade. The reason why Wesley, the reason why Mahershala Ali Blade is happening is because Wesley Snipes Blade ha got to happen. And we go, oh, yeah, there's Blade. There is a character who carries a sword, kills vampires. He's part of Marvel. Now that the Marvel movies are doing this connected universe thing, who's going to play Blade again? It, there's long-term effects. But when you, with you, Donald Glover, playing Spider-Man, they're not going... Yeah, with, we, we, we do the Spider-Man. Who's going to play Spider-Man again? And they're not going to be looking at a, cr a crop of actors whose skin is melanated. They're going to look at the guys who look like Spider-Man. That's when the world went crazy. <laughs> what he's doing now is shifting the blame towards the world went crazy. I'm going to highlight the stupidity, the racists, and their anger instead of what Chillmonger just did. And he spoke focused on empowerment and why this, what he was suggesting, wouldn't empower. Instead, if we can show you how the people who hate are going to react and overreact, it will be proof as to why I'm doing the right thing. Or, or, or And that's, that's a problem. They are not what dictates correct. Things that make them angry, yes, happen to lean towards uh, negative things, but we can't get into the thought process of, oh, we're making the right people upset. They're, they're not the barometer. And half the world was like, Donald for Spider-Man. We're only going to watch the next Spider-Man of Donald Glover's playing Peter Parker. And the other half was like, he's black, kill him! Like it was so and am I in either of those halves? So fast. I'm so fast. But I did read one comment that was like, oh, we're going to make Spider-Man black now? We're just going to make Spider-Man black now? That's what we're going to do? We're just going to make Spider-Man black? That's what we're going to do? We're going to make Spider-Man black now? We're going to make Spider-Man black? Well, 
Why don't we just have Michael Sarah play Shaft? <laughs> and maybe. Why don't we have Michael Sarah play Shaft? I don't even want to dig into that. I know that I hear I heard that before. Whatever, it's a YouTube video. Let's dig into that. Race is essential to the character. It's not that important if you're living in a real world, unless it's Star Wars or something like that. In the real world, every encounter you have is based off of your physical appearance. Some of that has to do with fashion. Is the hood on? Is the hood off? Is he wearing a tie? Is he wearing, like, some of that has to do with what you do externally to, to apply. But then some of that is just your natural physical characteristics. And it's going to determine every interaction that you have. It's going to play a part into it. You're lying if you don't think that. You're lying to yourself. You're being dishonest. Uh, with Shaft being a legendary character who will will have multiple actors play. That's the point. That, yeah, Shaft being white would be so bizarre to just see Tom Holland playing Shaft one day doing the voice. It just wouldn't fit. It wouldn't be right. Now, the solution, the problem that they think that we think we, we can all agree is underrepresentation. There's not a good amount of good, good people, good, like, like aspirational roles out there. Like a superhero would be. There's not enough of that of people whose skin is melanated. It's just like, like the, the pigmentation of them, of the popular top superheroes are leaning one way. It'd be better to have someone who's in there whose skin is dark, right? Right. But Wonder Man is a white character. Spider Man's a white character. There's a lot of white characters that are, exist that skin swapping with the casting would it would fulfill white people's, I guess, guilt. Studio heads like Kevin Feige. What's wrong, guys? Wonder Man, Simon Williams. He's going to be black now. You guys got black superheroes? We got Wonder Man shit. What else you guys need? We're race swapping left and right. Valkyrie, take her too. Um, there's all, there's in, You're included. Long term, Valkyrie isn't really black. Long term, what's Idris Elba's character? The guy who plays the boar? There's all of these like non, uh, they, they don't address it. Or they act like Black Panther never happened, and they act like what got Superman and Batman doesn't happen. They're just here to like fulfill their movie quotas, their underrepresentation fulfillments, and it's really not what's being asked for. It's not a fix. It pleases your own set of standards that you've made. It doesn't fix the way that Black Panther did. What happened in 2018? Now this whole mantle thing, where are you guys? There, there goes the greatest fucking black aspirational character that's ever happened in the cinema. Here, go, go, man. Take his sister. Rip. Yeah, he had a bastard son. Why don't you guys enjoy that? Black Panther. Woo, Wakanda forever. That doesn't solve the issue. That does. That didn't get Batman popular. Bruce Wayne in the first movie. Let's do this guy Robin in the next movie. Let's do Bruce Wayne's sister in the next movie. Bruce Wayne had a kid, and they're all gonna be called Batman. The character would never be where he would be, where he is now. The character would never be like that if that's what we did. Recast T'Challa. It's always going to be a recast T'Challa video here. S Spider Man is a white guy. Now, they made, since then, created a character, uh, Donald Glover inspired. His name is Miles Morales. Unfortunately, he goes by the alias of Spider Man, and that doesn't separate himself from. He doesn't have his own identity. Like conversations, if I'm talking, I say Spider Man. You guys know who I'm thinking about. I said Spider Man ten times in this video already. You guys knew I was talking about the main Spider Man, the real one. Now the character of Miles has took off. Sony made animated movies because they have the the brand. If Marvel owned the brand for our Miles Morales Spider Man, I don't think we would have got those animated. I know we wouldn't have got those animated films. Sony's just like, yeah, we, I guess we own Spider Man, so he's he's a Spider Man. Let's do a movie, and and you know, thankfully. The character is a success. Two good movies. Here comes a third one coming up in a few months from now. Okay, good. So we got a character. His flaw is he calls himself Spider-Man. Maybe we could change the name of this character who seems to have taken off. And he can say himself, well, 
I, I really like that you have accepted me and you think I'm equal to you. So then you call me, you let me go by Spider-Man, but uh, I want to break out. I want to make it on my own. Like some, some inspirational line like that, that most white people will be like, oh, yeah, that's right. Because you guys don't, you guys, as if white people are watching this, it made it all the way to this ninth minute of this video and they're, they're not offended. You guys just like want to be allies and you'll, you'll take anything. You just want to show how supportive you are. You're just like, oh yeah, that's the, that's that, the good thing, right? Yeah, okay. You look at this other YouTuber who's really angry about the Miles Morales thing, and you go, oh well, if, if that racist is angry, then that that means that it should make me happy. You'll eat it up when Miles says, guys, uh, you, uh, Spider Man, look, your webs don't even come out of you. You can't do no camouflage, no venom shock. I'm I'm good. You guys, I'm, I'm a, you guys do the Spider Man thing over here, Miles. I'm gonna call myself blank. Fill in the blank. And he gets his own brand. He gets his own name. Because like, you know, Spider-Man, why, why put a limitation on myself? Why have a ceiling of I can be as good as Spider-Man or I'm worthy of being Spider-Man? Nah, I'm tsh, a new word. Hopefully not with the word black. Can you imagine? Black web. We got Black Panther. We got Black Falcon. We got Black Lightning. We got, is, there, is Black Vulcan a thing? I feel like we, we have so many black something. That, that it's probably whatever the new name is. Make it individual without that word. Um, and then once you do Miles Morales, try to make his stories have nothing to do with his physical identity and just be like good. And then the comic book writers should be of the top five tier of comic book writers. Like since Bendis left, that's never happened. Work on that. That's on the comic side. But then on the TV side and on the movie side, have... Him appear with his own show. I used to call myself that, but now I moved out of New York and I live in Las Vegas, where I'm gonna take care of crimes over here. Uh, my my power set is perfect for that because I could blend in when guys are doing their gambling and all these illegal things, and it'll give Miles his own identity. Like Black Panther has that, and Black Panther is literally at the top when it comes to representation. He's the representative. He's V1. And the dumbasses killed him. But uh, hey, it's not too late to recast. I'll go, uh, Secret Wars is uh, some sort of a reset. So if we can make it so that he never died, if we can make it that it was a scroll, we can, we can fix that. That is the primary issue at Marvel Comics, at Marvel Studios, is because they got a character this hot. Finally, one broke through and dies in the beginning of a sequel. And then tried to say that we're tributing him, but every actor relived the death of their friend with the verbiage that they gave traumatic experience that if you watch the comic con reactions to them watching the trailer they were the ones who were in the old movie bro devastated the ones who were in only in this movie but not in the old movie never met chadwick boseman elated and you can see the divide of what you did marvel studios to these actors what you put them through um don't use Chadwick Boseman as like some sort of gatekeeping method from keeping the greatest black character ever. He would not be okay with him not with him dying. He would not be okay with his work ending with him. He should be the progenitor. What he sh did should be the same way we look at the first guy who played Batman. Was it Adam West? Adam West got something started and got something going. Shouldn't stop after that. Yeah, he died during the show. During the, while it was still active, like, it's not like he retired from acting. It's not like he aged out of the character. He died in the middle of it. Doesn't matter. You take that script for Black Panther 2 that he had input in, and you fulfill it. And you say, you know what Chadwick would have wanted? Exactly what he told me to be writing. And Ryan Googler could hire and cast some new guys to play the character. You know, do a lot of castings. Make sure it's the right guy. Get the voice down. That would be the best way to move forward with that. And then you'd have a, you would have what you think you have with Miles. You'd have the greatest character ever, skin is melanated, widely accepted, profitable, aspirational, like he's not even close to stereotypes. He's an anti-stereotype. You would have that. They decided not to do it. Instead, we're over here fighting over, is Miles Spider-Man? Is Falcon Captain America? Wanting to be the secondary version of a character who doesn't come instantly to mind when you say Cap, who doesn't come instantly to mind when you say Wonder Man, these skin swaps are not the solution. 
If you guys like Jonathan Majors, here's the video of all videos.